morning and welcome to Hoff Bergman and uh, this let's play on Flight Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and I've been a little bit busy since last time. Um, I don't remember if I showed you this truck, but I have definitely not shown you this truck. This is a part of the pack, uh, the vehicle pack, is for sure. Support, I think it's supposed to be like a small electric car. Um, with a trailer, um, it doesn't cost a lot of money, it's quite cheap. So, uh, we're gonna use that. We're gonna go up to our second field with animals, which where you have to before you could put all your cows in one field and it would automatically end up in the other fields. Now you have to put them in, in the individual fields. So, we have put it up in our second field, which is up by, uh, by the biogas facility. Um, and they will produce milk there. I'm gonna go and get those. Uh, so I have an, a lot of cows. I have 12 cows there, so it's not a, like a huge amount of cows, but there's some cows in there in this field. Uh, so I had a, had to get that boat with a trailer. I have got quite a lot of money. I completed that field. I have quite a lot of money, but I have also invested quite a lot of money in animals, uh, cows, and I think about 50 sheep or so, just shy of 50 sheep. Um, so if you go, you need water, which you put in there, and you need to put uh, hay, which you put in here. So I, I put you only this holds like 4,000. That's the second one there. For when the first one runs out, a little one, so we can go and if we look at it here. You can see I have 12 cows, so you have 200 cows in here. Um, 1750 left on the hay bale, water is 7500 liters, bat and battery, which we put over there, and you get milk cans. 100%, 100%. We're gonna go and oh. yeah. um, we're gonna bring these down. These don't hold a lot. You can actually put these. I saw on an episode of Snooky Snoo, Snooky Snoo, uh, that she actually did put these directly into the milk trough where you oh something happened what happened oh no I gotta crash the desktop oh, that sucks I started this game sorry I'm gonna have to restart it again uh, so anyway um they don't hold a lot, but we can use those and um, bring them down to our, well, either the the butter factories, you can just put those in there directly in the uh, trough where you empty the milk, um, but they don't hold a lot of milk in each of those. So and I'm going to take these down to the, um, the facility where you make cheese which is over by another stable, but um, that's kind of cool, I think. Uh, if I can get this started, this is sucky. Sometimes I, I get this problem where it crashes the desktop on Hofburg Run. Not always, uh, just sometimes I really can't I see a pattern of it. Might be a pattern, but I can't tell. I don't know what the pattern is and when it starts and that sort of stuff, but it's usually sometimes around when it's it's gonna save the game with the auto save. <laughs> this will take a little bit of time because there's quite a lot of stuff on the map to save. Um Anyway, since so since last time I, I, I bought that one, I put a lot uh, 
12 cows in that in that field I also got a few more like 50, 50 not, not 50 I think 48 more sheep um, I have uh, sold a bit of pigs uh, I haven't sold the meat yet though but I sold a bit of pigs um, the, I cultivated a field 17 the last field the big one where we still had some straw I also collected a straw and sold that or oh, gave it to pigs and so I also what else did I do I also emptied the pig style of manure well, not all but a lot of it I could actually get the big wheel loader in there so that went pretty nifty um, that was pretty nifty I mean um, and I started um, to put some, what do you call it? I started to plant the field of corn with the the nice red planter, which was a part of the mod contest. I just I can't remember the name now. Something with a e something. The cool one we could add and do all the different settings doesn't really change anything, <laughs> but you could do a lot of settings on it. Um, which was cool. Mm. Not the fastest until you can go. So I'm actually gonna go and do this. I'm gonna save here. Let's see if that differs. Oh, let's go up again to the field. Uh, I had some problem with that cedar because um, from this version to from from the version I used of the map to this version, they actually uh, locate the seed master into another building, the one on the right side of this road, as compared to the left side where it used to be in the in the, in the barn next to the pig food maker, um, which is problematic because I had. Uh, Cedar, uh, not the cedar, they had cedar in the other barn on the right side of the road, and <laughs> so when I changed the maps, the cedar was still stuck there, but it ended up in the middle of the seeding machine. The machine I should have taken a screenshot with was so hilarious, but it was ended up there in the middle of that one, which was weird, very weird. So let's see, I'm gonna go and Get this off here. So we need to attach those. Those was why Snoopy Snoop had one of these water load. You know, um, the bushy with an auto load function, which looked really cool. I don't know where she got that. I haven't found it anywhere, so it's probably a, someone made it for you, or she made her it herself. But that was kind of cool. So there, maybe one, someone will release such a version. So. Next one. Can put it first. And these ones. Perfect. This one, and then the next, and then the next couple of ones, and then I'm gonna take. We could even bring these down and, and put them, or sell them at the dairy, dairy operation, or you could actually do what I'm gonna do with them.
get this sorted out. So this is uh, an electric car, I think, if I understand correctly. Let's see, let me see if we can get get some cheese making, uh, cheese production going. So that's the the cheese factory is over by the town. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a drive. Don't know, how, we don't have a ton of milk there, but we can produce a little bit of uh, cheese, I think. There is our cedar, which we'll get to in a little bit. After we've done this, uh, so basically that's the plan for this episode. Uh, try to make some cheese, and also um, seed a little bit. Uh, the seed. So the plan is to make plant corn. Um, I'm not planning on actually using the corn as corn harvesting corn I'm using um, my plan is to um, make that into silage or chaff which will ferment into silage I think our silage maker facility will actually produce um, it will take chaff but I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that but I think it will do that if it doesn't I guess we have to sell we we'll have to produce corn instead which we can sell, that's not a problem. We could also feed corn to the pigs, so. Sorry. Hope everything stayed on. Yeah. Nice, strapped in. Um, so you also need, if to produce the cheese, you also need as uh, one of these, um, I guess it's not, it's not called bacteria, but it's the thing that you need to add to the milk to make it cheesy. Um, it's called something, uh, it's not called the same in Swedish as in English, and I, I actually, in truthfulness, I, I don't know either. I, um, I think it's called Löpe in Swedish, but I'm not really sure. I think it's Löpe. Is that a gold nugget here somewhere? I thought I saw something glimmering. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Just thought it wasn't a gold nugget there. I guess it wasn't. Um. So we'll go up to the cow farm, which is up here, and hopefully this will work. I haven't tried this out before, so I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I hopefully it will work. So up here. Go down into here, and this building here is where we um, will need to go in. All the grass and stuff is because I used to use an insane game. Um, so if we'll take this in, see if this will work. Otherwise, we go and sell it it did. So each of those hold 50 which is not a lot uh, but you need that and you need these which you buy in the store have additionals and it's these. Natural lab lab is an enzyme sorry and that's called, I think it's called Löpe in Swedish but I don't know where to put this oh here sorry Put it there. And then we need some more milk. Don't know how much milk we uh, will we need to to make a cheese, but take a sort of screenshot of this. So 
get everything in there. Our little busher trailer and busher. And Pusher and a milk stuff and everything we need. Um, so it's producing, you can produce in four pieces of young cheese, and then I think you need this is one. Uh, and then they s you store it somehow. Maybe you store it in here. Jeez, did it say there? Young cheese. So you can put young cheese in and then mature them. So tw maximum 20. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. That's the way you do it. Don't know how much milk that you will have to put in here. How much do you could you have we could hold a thousand liters, so we're not gonna get a thousand liters I think, unfortunately. So one of the cans is kind of empty, actually. The good thing I looked at this new, this new episode, this one is empty, I don't know why. I bought that one. So it won't add anything to this, but I'll get rid of it anyway. Um, I was looking at, sort of like gaming, playing this, and then I saw this new, new episode, was a which was a live stream, so I recommend her channel, it's cool. Um, I was going to put that in the description, I forgot about that. Um, and I saw her dropping the milk barrels into the butter trough. So, and that's to uh, since I have a big production of milk over there, uh, it's not really. I can might as well use that one. So, have some milk for our cheese production. I'm gonna go back and do some seeding on our fields. Seeding the corn. <laughs> and that's pretty much much it for this episode. I'm not gonna do much more than that. I think that's pretty okay. Mm. So I'm recording this in the morning before work. Um, when I'm done recording in a little bit, I'm gonna go and wake up my son. My daughter is well, has a cold, so she'll be home with my fiance for today. And uh, we'll I'll go to work. I'll leave him at preschool and we go to work. I'm gonna go a lot of driving today, unfortunately. It's boring, I hate driving. I'm gonna drive like a two hour drive to uh, a treatment facility. Uh, and then I follow up a couple people that I placed there. And then I'm, I'm gonna go drive two hours back home. But I have a colleague at least on this episode. On this Day, so that was pretty okay. Bad driving, I know bad driving. I don't know if I told you, I got this trailer out, so this it's the odd load trailer. I think it's in the description. Um, and I also got another, which I talked about getting the slurry tramliner, which is over here. I um, tried it out, it's it's very cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to try it out on another field. Oh, maybe I could. I do have it here. Tramliner, mm, slurry spreader. It works pretty nice, actually. It has a pretty decent rate of spread, so you don't... Um, it's very sort of. I mean, I could do this entire field with one load, even though it wasn't a huge amount. It looks like eight thousand liters. So. so 
So this is a cool thing because here you can, you can change stuff if you want to. You could change the width, go distance, how do you pitch down, pitch up. So you can change the height, you can change a lot of stuff here which is very cool. Seal lids. Um, disc rotation. Uh, so it, there's a bunch of things you can change here. It doesn't doesn't affect the seating, I think. We see the row could change. Next setting, how do you change it? No, this one couldn't change. We can change this one, decrease distance. Numpad. See, see? Changes. Which is kind of cool. So. Um, T level. Decrease distance. So plus minus tech science that changes these things. Um seeds like here. Yeah, tell what that does. And micro selector. Well as I, I don't know what these things do. Open the lid individually, I think. No, what's this? And close lids. So you can change a lot of things there, which is kind of cool. Well, very cool, actually. Uh, uh, Fertilizers in this part, seeds go in there, this pipe you attach, and then basically you dry. So whenever you lower it, it will start selected. There's no turning on, you just lower it, right, drive. Mm, which is very cool. Doesn't use a huge amount of heat, you can see that. Basically, this is what we'll do. Uh, I don't think the change in the settings would change has any effect on the actual planting. It's not that sophisticated, it's just a cool feature on the planter itself. This is one of the fields, the field I spread slurry on, so in case you're wondering, it looks slightly different. You can see the slurry sort of on top of it. And then we're fertilizing in cells, so this is pretty much done for harvesting. I'm gonna do the other fields, I'm gonna probably try some um, liquid fertilizer with a tram liner, because that's a cool tram line. I used it on the Agro OC map, I think. It, I haven't used it on this map yet. So, the amount of fields with corn, I'm thinking about two fields or so. Not a huge amount, but... Uh, sufficient to get some chaff out of it. So this one and maybe one or two, maybe the, this one and the two fields down below. And then we'll, on the other fields we'll plant, oh, what do I say, soybeans maybe? Or wheat or some sort of version, maybe barley. I, I haven't decided, we'll see. So you see, it doesn't use a huge amount of seeds. I don't know if, if it's realistic or not. The cool part is that all the little boxes and st stuff are animated individually, so depending on what you hit, drive over, they will bump up and down. 
I think it's dependent on what day you drive over. Maybe it's just animation. I could be wrong there. <coughs> it does have actually you could use that. Since it does have a one of these. Um ridge marker we could actually use the ridge marker. So we could drive from the inside. If it'll work we'll try it out to see if it works. Didn't we leave a huge amount of stuff to follow? Maybe it's because I spread slurry on the field. Maybe it's easy on the other fields where they cultivate it. So, in theory, you just follow the ridge mark where the ridge marker made its mark. And then uh, use that. Oh, it's actually stopped. That's kind of cool. It automatically stopped when we, when we put the cedar up in the up. So it's down. Let's see if we can follow which marker sort of like so. Does this work? It does. Okay, that's cool. That's a pretty cool machine. Um, I don't know, I'm going to stop recording here. That's pretty much uh, what I'm going to do for the next few episodes, few playing times. So, um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like, like button, leave a comment or share. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.